Hello and welcome back to the Natervarium podcast. My name is Ruth, your host, and as always, this podcast is coming to you from Westmead in Ireland, where I live with my husband, children, and our family dog, Jasper. I want to thank you all for taking time out of your busy day to uh, spend it with me. I'm sure your days are quite busy, and uh, I really do appreciate it. The places that you can find me are on my website, knitterarium.com. You can find me on Instagram as Knitterarium, and you can find our Ravelry group, Knitterarium. If you just search under the Groups tab on Ravelry for Knitterarium, you'll find us. And all the links for all of that will be um, just down below in the description box as well, so that they're easy for you to find. Um, I want to start off with uh, a little bit of admin news first. And um, our You Shine Like a Star Shawl Knit Along, that has started. It started on November the 1st in our Ravelry group and it is running until December 31st. This is our last Shawl Knit Along of the year. Um, so we would love to have you join us. And I have the prizes that are going to be available um, for the winners at the end of at the end of this call. I will in a couple of weeks show you the uh, prizes that are going to be for the end of year grand prize draw, which um, all the shawls from all the shawl knit alongs that we've had this year all go into um, into a big draw for that. And I will show those prizes in a couple of weeks. But for now, these are the prizes that are available for participants of the You Shine Like a Star shawl knit along. So any shawl, any knitterarium shawl that has started between November the 1st and finished by December the 31st, um, and who is participating in the shawl knit along can be entered to win some of these prizes. So the prize, I this is the skein of yarn prize that I have for you. It is from Elm Tree Yarns, and it is Diane's Christmas, uh, Christmas um, colorway for this year. It is Winter at Hilltop Farm. Now the skein of yarn that I've gotten for use is. Uh, Superwash Merino, Nylon and Stellina. So there is a little glitter and a sparkle in there, which is just perfect for the You Shine Like a Star. So this is this beautiful, this beautiful colorway. Greys and really dark blues and naturals mixed with these wonderful uh, goldy colors. It's just lovely. So this is the skein of yarn prize for the You Shine Like a Star in it long. And you might remember um, an episode or two ago, I said that Ellie from Craft House Magic had sent um, our project bag uh, prize. And thank you so much, Ellie. So I've had this wrapped up for the last couple of weeks, waiting for today's episode to show you all. So I'm going to open it up now. There's a bit of, that's just the tissue paper. And um, I was right, Ellie has, Ellie has uh, made, her, made her prize to the theme of our You Shine Like a Star. So we have this beautiful, beautiful project bag with these appliqued little stars on the front of it. And it's in this gorgeous tealy blue green color and this gorgeous with this lovely ribbon. And look at our little, our little uh, progress keeper on the pull, it's a little star. So this is a wonderful size. This is definitely a shawl size bag. And it is, that's Ellie's uh, tag in there. And we have this little pocket inside as well. So not only do you get the project bag, the winner of the project bag will also get this beautiful little star notions pouch, which again has the little ribbon and star on the pull, on the zipper pull of it. You get a DPN case or a needle case. And you also get these really cute, this inside if you can see, there was these little, they were, star progress markers on a little star. So that is, um, that is all for the, pri the winner of the project bag prize. So we have all these little items and these. So thank you very much, Ellie. That is such a wonderful prize. And um, the winner of that is 
very lucky indeed. So there are the prizes for our, I'll just wrap that all back up now. They are the winners, they are the prizes for the winners of the You Shine Like a Star Shawl Knit Along. And there's still lots of time to come along and join in the fun. Um, I have some, I have some winners of, um, we have our Oceans of Time pattern giveaway and our last Shawl Knit Along. I have some winners drawn for each of those, but I think we'll, um, I'll announce those at the end of the podcast. I think what we will do is we will move on in into the inside world of Knitterarium. Um, so it is, I'm just fixing my, uh, I'm just fixing my cushion behind me. I've moved today into my, um, this is my, this is my corner that I, um, that I work in or I do most of my practical knitting, uh, work in. So I've moved into here today, um, to record this episode I just thought I'd uh, give the change of venue a bit of a try. Um, you might hear the dog walking around he likes to be in this room as well um, but he should just sleep because he's been chasing the postman. So it's been two weeks from I have recorded the last episode but one whole week of that was not was an unexpected week of um, off work and I'll talk some more about that in chit, chit chat. So I really only have one sort of one week's worth of um, of knitting to actually show you and to talk about. Um, now the the Moon Garden Cow that one is finished and complete and it is with my editor and with my testers at the moment so that should be coming soon and um, perhaps next episode I will uh, wear it and give you a little look at it. Uh, what I am working on now is a new uh, a new sample for a new design. This one is called Midnight Sunset and I am using Eden Cottage Yarns uh, Langdale Superwash Aran and I'll just get you a tag now. This is the Eden Cottage Ball Band this one here. Okay, if it'll focus. There we go. And it is 100% merino wool. Um, as I said, it is the Langdale Superwash Iron, and I am using the colours. I am using the colours Stone. This is Stone. I'm using the colours Stone Chat. And my third colour is uh, Thunder. Sorry, this one is attached to the knitting, is Thunder. So this is Thunder. It is kind of like a, a, a it's very hard to get this color to show up on the camera. It is a dark, um, it's not a dark, it's a purpley kind of gray color. And so it takes on, it's very hard to photograph as well, but on the podcast, it just seems to be very hard to get a good representation of the color. So this is uh, Thunder and this is a new shawl design and I can show you a glimpse of this because this one is not, this is not so secret. So being iron weight it knits up really really quickly. I don't normally, I don't normally knit or even design with uh, iron weight jar so this, um, I'd forgotten how quick this knits up. So. This is what I have so far of the design. So it's coming along really quickly. And as I said, um, I've really only had one week of actual knitting and that only, that was maybe, uh, I did some of this on Sunday and then just um, Monday and Tuesday of this week. Yeah, so really from Sunday of this week. Um, so this has progressed really quickly, so it has. Um, I did hope to do this, get working on this last week, but that just didn't happen. Um, so I'm really pleased with how far along it has come and how quickly. So if it keeps going at this speed, it will be, it will be soon ready to be um, released to you all. And so that's quite exciting. So it is to be moving through it that quick. Uh, I don't think I'm going to switch over to iron weight that soon because, or that 
because I still love foreplay. Um, I still love foreplay, yeah. So that is being kept in my gorgeous Game of Thrones bag, which I got from Karina from Strand Design. The fibers are tickling my nose now. Um, so that is that is one project that I've been working on. My other project that I'm working on in my little gingerbread bag is my Christmas sock design. Now, if you have, if you follow me on Instagram and you've been following along, you may have heard the name of these uh, socks. Um, let me see, where am I with this? I've just pulled the needle out of the sock. Look. That was clever, wasn't it? I can't really show it to you anyway because um, I'm just about to start the patterning and while I have re revealed the nail of the pattern, I haven't revealed the design just yet. Um, I'm going to have to put that carefully aside while I pick up all those stitches. Anyway, the colours, the colours that I'm using. I am using an Eden Cottage Yarns Sparkle Yarn. I am using it in, this is, I'm looking for the tags here, I'm sorry. Oh yes, they're in the little pocket. Um, this one is Meadow Rue. This one is Meadow Rue, so it's a sparkly pink colour. And I am using Silver Birch as the contrast. Now the contrast is only worked on, on my sample. It's only worked on the heel and toe. You can, of course, work it on the cuff if you want. And you can not work a contrast if you so wish to. That's on my sample though. The contrast is worked on the toes and on the heels of this. And I can show you just part of it. Oh yes, the name. <laughs> I got distracted by pulling the needle out of all of the stitches. Um, these are the Sugar Plum Fairy socks. So, and they will be coming to you in uh, just a couple of weeks. And next week's episode, I should have more details of a little surprise that... Um, Ellie from Craft House Magic and I are cooking up together. So I'll have more details on that for you on next week's episode. Um, so that is, that is the Sugar, Sugar Plum Fairy Socks and they are my, going to be my Christmas, Christmas sock release which is going to be in a couple of weeks. Okay, I'm going to need to put this bag down here because I need to, I need to work on that when I'm finished recording here. Um, so that is, that is all I'm working on, um, that is all I'm working on work-wise at the moment. I do have another new shawl which is part of a new collection I'm working on and I need to just skin that up and get started. Um, I know what I want to do with that, I just, I want to, I want to get that second sock finished. Um, I want to get that second sock finished so it's ready for release and then I can press on with the other then I can press on with the other um the other shawl design I lost all the words I wanted to say uh, I can press on with the other um shawl design that I want to get started with so I think we will move on into what's on my needles uh, I have no finished objects this week so we're just Looking at what is on my needles, um, my chalkboard crayon socks. Now these ones I am knitting two at a time on my uh, Chowgu interchangeable sock set. So I've done just, I'm going to be really careful this time not to pull the needle out of these socks because there's two of them. <laughs> Bad enough I have to pick up the stitches for one whole song without adding two more to it. So I've done just a little bit on these. Um, I haven't, I've been concentrating on the Sugar Plum Fairy socks and getting those finished. So I have not really, um, I've worked a little bit but not a whole lot on these. So I was here the last day with my lovely Jiggles and Beans 
little progress keepers, my Frankenstein and my little witch. And so these are this is what I've made. This is the progress I've made. This yarn is a self-striping yarn from um, Karina of Strand Designs. I sh do I have her card? I do. This is her ball band. Uh, this is a four ply superwash merino and nylon, 7525 superwash merino, nylon, and uh, it is called chalkboard. So I am calling these my chalkboard crayon socks because I am using kind of like a primary color, the primary colors for contrast for the toes, for the toes anyway. I have to go and root out um, another primary color for the the heels and for the cuffs and which I think will just pick up the colors in in the speckled part you'll see flashes of red and blue and um, there is green in it I don't know if that's shown up in it just yet but this is the progress that I've made so far and as I said I'm knitting these two at a time on 2.25s um, this is a 64 stitch that's what fits me. I'm knitting toe up. Uh, this is these are actually the first pair I've tried two at a time, um, and I'm really not far enough into them, and I haven't been knitting them long enough to really give you an indication whether I would prefer this method or not. Um, as I knit them concurrently, anyway, be that on DPNs or on Magic Loop on two smaller circulars. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try it and see. Um, I'm going to try it and see, see what I like about it. See if see if it's for me really. So they are my chopper crayon socks. So a small little bit of progress, not a whole lot. But once the sugar plum fairy socks are done, I can go back to working on these all of the time. And I am keeping those in my really gorgeous little. This is this little puppy fairy bag. Poppy, poppy fairy, poppy bag, poppy project bag. That's too many peas. Um, bag that Karina had sent me earlier in the year as a as a gift, and it's beautiful. So those are my chalkboard crayon socks. Next up is my Grace bag in my Alice in Wonderland bag. I love this bag. I just love Alice in Wonderland anyway. So my Grace card again. Wait, let's see have I made. I've made a small amount of progress on this, not a whole lot. The Grace card again. I'll just get you a picture of it now. Is by do, 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 Jane Richmond. Oh, I've lost the oh, I've lost the phone cover. So here we are. This is the this is the Jane card again, and it is as I said by Jane Richmond. Uh, the yarn I'm using is Eden Cottage Yarns Milburn Four Ply. In the this is the Autumn Fields colorway, so it's a very similar color to what the sample was knit in by Jane Richmond, and this is 85% BFL and 15% silk. So, and I love that this already comes in little balls, all ready to just, all ready to just start your project. It's brilliant. Um, and I'm a big fan of the Milburn four ply from Eden Cottage Yarns. It's a, just, it's a great all rounder yarn. It's brilliant. It's brilliant for shawls. It's brilliant for garments. And um, and I know Victoria has released some new colors in it. Um, and I'm really, I want some garments in some of those. She has a fern green, which is just fantastic. And she has a, um, a gorgeous charcoal gray. Our, two in particular of the new colours that I have my um, I have my eye on and I would just love a garment in uh, both of those colours so I would so watch this space um so this is this is my um grace cardigan so far it is here um so I was here the last day so I've as I said I've just made a tiny little bit of progress about an inch I think I have one more set of, I think I'm nearly, actually I have one more set of waist decreases to do, which I am nearly at, which I'm nearly at, 
and um, so I am about halfway down through this and um, I didn't really get I didn't get working on this this past weekend at all which I normally do because it's a wonderful TV knitting project um, and I was tempted sorely this week to um, skip a bit of work knitting and um, work on this because it's getting really chilly outside now and this is the first real frosty morning we have like it's lovely and bright now but we had this was our first really frosty morning that we had so it's um i want i want all the garments to wear um i was to show my herbarium jumper because i don't think i took a photograph of that so uh but i have been i have been wearing that and uh, i want more garments um but i think i spoke about that in an episode or two ago about how I just want to knit all the garments um, and when the shawl knit alongs are finished um, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be finishing up any I'm going to be finishing up any uh, shawl whips that I have left I'm going to concentrate on getting those out of the way and then I'm going to knit garments and because three is my preferred amount of projects to have on the go if I don't have a shawl and if I only have socks, that means I can have two garments on the go. Yay! So, I should get finished like the garments quicker. So I should. And then, I can wear them all. Yeah. So, there may have to be some, uh, I know there is sweater quantities of yarn on my uh, Christmas list already. So, there is that. So as I said, this is my this is my Grace cardigan. So I am, I am really looking forward to to knitting this. It's lovely. I love the little, I love the little lace patterning at the top of it, and then it's just a plain stockinette body. It's lovely, um, and I love the pattern. It's really well written. It is extremely easy to follow. So it is, and I just, yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I can see that I would knit. I can see that I would knit another version of, of this, so I would. Um, so that is my Grace cardigan. Uh, what have we got next? Oh yes, we have my shawl for the uh, You Shine Like a Star shawl knit along. I have decided to knit Pemberley Woods, which is um, from my Walking with Elizabeth collection. Uh, I have not started this yet. I caked up the yarn and I printed out the pattern. I can show you pictures. So this is the Pemberley Woods shawl from my Walking with Elizabeth collection. Um, so I am I am going to knit this out of Eden Cottage Yarns. Now Victoria from Eden Cottage Yarns she, this is actually Victoria's card. This is it here. Victoria did up some um, kits for this. For this, she did them in the original colours. In these original colours. So the original colours for this were Rambling Rose, were Rambling Rose, Briar, Briar Rose, Fern, and Fuchsia. So there were. So that's them there. And I have. She also did a second pack, which was um, a, a darker, more moodier feel of a kit. And those colours are stone. Oh, sorry. This is the card. You don't need to see that. Stone. So this is stone. So this is going to be my colour one. And I am going to stripe it with... Mm, what am I striping it with? Um, I should have had this organized, shouldn't I? I am striping it with thunder. That's it. So I am striping it with thunder. So this is the thunder again. And this is it on the uh, Pendle 4 ply base, which is 100% superwash merino. So you'll see it has, um, on the different yarn base, it has, a, it has a different look. So it is a much softer lilac -y, um purple. So these are going to be my stripe section. 
Then the green section in the original one that was knit in fern, I am knitting it in cedar. So this beautiful dark green, this fantastic green in cedar. And then the last part, which was knit in the bright fuchsia pink, I am knitting it in this gorgeous, this one is dusk. Yeah, this one is dusk. So it's a really darker purple. So my, I'll just gather up the four colors. The four colors, they look like this together. So it's a much, it's a much darker, moodier feel uh, to this shawl. And I decided to try this uh, pack. I wanted to see how these colors work together because I think they're wonderful together. And I already have a sample in the um, in the original color. So I thought it would be nice to have um, a shawl knit in in the uh, the other pack that Victoria had done had um, made up for the Pemberley Woods. Um, the Pemberley Woods uh, pattern. I think she is all sold out of both packs of it at the moment and I'm not sure if she's going to be um, making up any more and that I'm not sure on. Um, so that is my shawl that isn't started. I just didn't get, I just didn't get the time to start it. Um, I'm hoping to start that, I'm hoping to start that this weekend and get a, a start made on it it would be lovely to wear so it is and I know I haven't my shawl on me today I had it on uh, earlier and I was just doing a few bits and I took it off but uh, now that I'm sitting here I'm a bit chilly and I could do with it on me so that is all my works in progress for the moment so we will move on into um, treasure trove so treasure trove what I have in Treasure Trove is um, when I was ordering the um, Winter at Hilltop Farm as the prize, uh, I ordered it on the Sparkle Base for the prize uh, for the prize winner, and I also ordered it just on the Superwash Merino Nylon eighty twenty base from Diane of Elm Tree Yarns. So this is it on a non Sparkle base. And it still looks fantastic. Hold on, I have it here. I'll show it here. So this is the sparkle one. That's for the prize winner. And then this is the this this one here is the um, the non sparkle base. So this one is the one for the winner. And then this one is the one is the one I ordered for myself. And this is this is the um, card that Diane took her inspiration from for her. Um, for this colorway, winter at Hilltop Farm. So I'm really looking forward to, knit, to knitting that up. I think that's going to make a gorgeous pair of Christmas socks. And I have a couple of different, um, I have a couple of different Christmas kind of themed sock yarns this year. That um, so I have a choice of Christmas socks. So and I know Amy of Strand Stranded Dye Works is knitting Christmas socks. Um, so that she has some to wear in December and actually that's quite a good idea and after Christmas I might work on that because I have quite a good few um, kind of like Christmas themed sock yarns at the moment that I could start on that. The other thing I ordered from Diana Valentry Yarns is um, this Holly Fairy. You'll remember I was collecting some of her um, she had some of these fairy yarns, uh, and I had to get the I had to get the holly fairy because I had all the other ones. <laughs> How could I not have holly fairy? So this is superwash merino nylon and stellina. So isn't this gorgeous? Look, reds and greens and yellows mixed with naturals, and it's just these are going to be gorgeous. They'll make such a gorgeous pair of socks because these are destined for socks. So I did. I ordered those. That's what I ordered from Diane of Elm Tree Yarns. Um, do I have? I might have Diane's card here. Do, do, oh, I do. So you will find her on Etsy, and there will be links down below. There will be links down below as well as links in the 
the show notes will be down below, but they'll also be in the Ravelry group, so you'll find links to all the places there. And speaking of Amy from Stranded Dye Works, um, I had I had started my Sugar Plum Fairy um, design, uh, and then I heard on Amy's podcast that she had uh, released this this colorway here, and this was her Sugar Plum colorway. So I had to I had to order. I had to order a skein of it because um, this would be just fantastic to knit up into my Sugar Plum Fairy uh, socks. So it would. This is her, oh, is it her? Wait, it's her 75% support merino, 25% nylon. I'm trying to think, does, does um, Amy call this her, oh it is, it's her Oasis. She's it written on the front for me, if I only read it. This is her her oasis base, and um, I just love all these purples. It's a light lilac, but then there's these darker, more richer tones in it. Oh, it's lovely! So I'm looking forward to um, to knitting sugar, my sugar plum fairy socks up in. That's Amy's card. So I'm really looking forward to knitting my sugar plum fairy socks up in Amy's sugar plum. Um, Color. So won't that be wonderful? The other thing I have to show you is what I'm drinking out of. I got a new mug. Um, I got it from Julia Smith Ceramics on. Uh, she is on Etsy, so she is. And I got this gorgeous, this gorgeous tree with the moon. I've been looking at her designs. I've been looking at her designs for, for a while and I've been admiring them and I love them. I love them all, but none of them really stood out go, um, until I saw this one, that I really wanted this one. I just love this scene with the moon and the tree. And it's just, I love this. So this is my new mug. And I was so pleased it had arrived safely all in one piece. Um, which is brilliant because I had been wondering coming from Scotland if maybe it would get a bang it would get a bang maybe or and it had come broken but no it arrived safely all in one piece so I'm really pleased with that so I am uh, the last thing I have to show you are um, some little progress keepers I got from Jiggles and Beans I love these um, I'm really addicted to them at the moment and I got this this is the gingerbread man. That's so cute. I think that's going to be perfect for little Christmas, for Christmas projects, um, both on the run up to and over Christmas. And the other one I got was this, look at this really cute cloud. Look at how cute he is. He's just lovely. Uh, I got the cloud. And then, Going to see if he's going to show. Okay, I'm gonna eat my. It's this little pig. Look. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> so, this is this little pig. If you can see him. He is really really cute. Um. So yeah, a pig. <laughs> They're so cute. I love. Um. I really love these. So there are my purchases from chickens and beans. Um, and that is really all I have in Chitty Chit Chat. Or not in Chitty Chit Chat, Treasure Trove. <laughs> I'm now moving on to Chitty Chit Chat. Chitty Chit Chat this week. Um, well, we have two weeks worth really. Last week, last week the children were all off for um, um, midterm break. Seem to be really forgetful this morning I and mean, I keep losing my words but they were all off for midterm break last week which was wonderful I had no alarm clock um we at the last moment on the weekend that they got their midterm break we decided that we would have one of those house clearouts you know the ones where you go through each room and you just get rid of all the junk that you have just seem to have accumulated 
Um, so we decided we were going to do that. Um, so that was why I had th this unexpected week off work. Um, because we decided that we were going to do that. So every day was taken up with um, taking each room uh, and going through it and clearing it of any junk that had accumulated, stuff we didn't need, things that could be recycled, donated, or things that were just, we needed to get rid of. So we did that. and uh, But it meant that uh, each evening, by the time I sat down, I was I was too tired to knit. So I didn't know I didn't know knitting last week at all. Um, I know the children went round to their friends. The um, they all had different they all had different days planned out with their friends. So as well as doing the clear out each day, I uh, was ferrying somebody somewhere to something. Be it uh, meeting up with friends, hanging out with them, going to parties, um, going shop. Oh, my daughter went shopping with her friend on Sunday afternoon. I took them into town and they went shopping and I just went to a coffee shop. I sat down, I had a hot chocolate and I had a peppermint tea and I had my knitting and I just sat and I relaxed and it was lovely. And it was much needed after, uh, at the end of the week. Um, we did get the clear out done. It's finished, it's done. And uh, it's wonderful to have it done. So it is. Um, so we did that. Each of the children did their things. Um, thank you so much for the lovely comments last week. Um, you know, many of you probably wouldn't have known I had eight children. It's, um, I don't talk about children too much on the podcast. I try to keep, uh, I try to keep that part um, separate um so i do um a little bit because uh well just because i'm doing a podcast doesn't mean that the children are and doesn't mean that um they want to be on it either um sometimes they like to come into the room and sit behind the camera while i'm doing it and sometimes they don't um so we did that uh let me see i'm trying to think uh, I'm hoping my dog won't stop barking. There's another dog out in the neighborhood barking. Jasper, get down. Get down. Jasper. Oh, he's so proud. He's ignoring me. He's like the children. He's not listening. Jasper, get down. Anyway, if he starts barking, we'll have to uh, get down. Come on, come here. Come here. Come on, get down. Look, this is him. Now, here. Okay, now he's going to join me for the rest of the, the rest of the episode. So that's what we did for our chitty chit chat. Oh, that's what we, I keep putting that word in. That's what um, we did for the um, for most of last week. So it is uh, this week. They're all back at school, so we're all back to the routines, and doing all the things that we normally do of uh, of a week um we've nothing major planned this week oh i may forgot to mention last week i was at my sister's graduation she graduated with uh, an honors degree in toxicology and i was at her graduation for that last friday um and it was absolutely wonderful to see she had worked so hard for it and we are just so proud of her uh, so it was lovely to do that i did that last week as well I knew there was something else I had done that was uh, not uh, not ordinary for the week that was in it. Um, so this week we are back to normal. We are back to our routine, uh, back to school, back to work, and um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, so I think that really is all for Chitty Chit Chat. I think what we'll do now is we will uh, I will announce the winners for the 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 uh, giveaway and for the last shawl knit along that we had. So the uh, was a thread open for the last, I left it open uh, a little bit longer than I had stated for the Oceans of Time pattern because I didn't get recording a podcast last week. So he's still there. Um, he, um, so it was for a copy 
of the Oceans of Time pattern to be gifted to the Winner's Library. Isn't that right? Yeah. So. <laughs> so, uh, the winner of the Oceans of Time pattern giveaway. And the, the question was uh, about what were your Halloween, Halloween traditions. So it is. So, the winner of the Oceans of Time <laughs> pattern. Oh, he's tickling me. Is post, <laughs> is post number nine, which is V Shaw 7. And V Shaw 7 is Vicky. So congratulations, Vicky. Vicky said her favorite, um, she said her favorite, uh, her favorite tradition was getting dressed up in a costume and going out trick-or-treating. Um, so congratulations, Vicky. I will, I will gift on a copy of the pattern to your Ravelry library. So, okay, I need my hands now. I need my arms now for the next one. So, we also had the uh, You Are Amazing Shawl Knit Along. That finished at the end of October, October 31st. And I left the thread open for a couple of days, the finished object thread for anyone who was just blocking their shawls to get them into it. And then I locked, I locked the thread and I have the winners drawn for the You Are Amazing Shawl Knit Along. Um, now I will announce all of these winners in their threads as well so that uh, especially the winners of the You Are Amazing Shawl Knit Along I will have to post your prizes to you so you'll need to get in touch with me to uh, give me your postal address so I can get these out into the post to you. So the winner of the You Are Amazing Shawl Knit Along for the, the skein of yarn, oh, sorry I'm just reaching over for this now here, it's quite hard with the dog on my knee. So this is the, yeah no. This is the, um, no, you can't, he wants the yarn. This is the yarn, it is from Down Sheepy Lane. And the winner of this skein of yarn was post number four, which is Mel Melanie Matchy, and that's Melanie. And Melanie knit uh, a Ganyev for the You Are Amazing Shawl Knit Along. So congratulations, Melanie. If you get in touch with me with your postal address, I will get that out into the post to you. And the other winner, the winner of the project bag, this is the project bag here. And the project is from Rick, the project bag ooh, is from Rick Rack Room. This is it here. This beautiful bee pattern. Oh, it's a gorgeous little project bag. So the winner of this project bag was post number two, which was Pauline 19. And Pauline knit, um, Pauline knit a beautiful grania shawl. Okay, he's gotten down off me now. And he's left me covered in hairs. Uh, so the um, Pauline, as I said, knit a gorgeous grania shawl. Um, it was really beautiful. I, I loved it. Um, she had the most beautiful bead and uh, yarn combination. So congratulations to you too, Pauline. And if you get in touch with me with your postal address, I will get I will get that project back out in the post to you. Um, so those are all the winners that I have to announce, but I also want to announce uh, I have um, I have another giveaway and this giveaway is for my podiversary because I had an email during this week was it this week or towards the end of last week? I had a giveaway towards this week and this week I had it, that's it uh, announcing that it was my anniversary from being on YouTube. So, to celebrate my podiversary, I am going to give the winner um, a code that's going to be um, that's going to be valid until the end of two thousand and eighteen, and it is going to be for any three single patterns of their choosing. They can be ones already released, or they can include any of the releases I have next year. Um, so they will be able to get three individual patterns uh, of their choosing in um, from now or until the end of 2018. So they have a chunk of time. They don't have to they don't have to choose them right now and they don't have to be something that is already in my Ravelry store because maybe they might have those already, the winner might have. So just to make it fair and to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more exciting, I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to, the code I'm going to give them is going to be valid until the end of December 2018. So they will be able to pick 
they will be able to pick their three patterns even from next year's even from next year's designs if they want. So there will be a thread open in the Ravelry group for that uh, when this when this goes live. I'm going to um, I'm going to open that up now. And you have to be um, you have to be subscribed to the channel because it is for you, it is for you guys the guys who subscribe to me and who watch um, just as a thank you. Um, you also have to be a member of the Ravelry group. And the prompt is mm -mm, what has been your favorite birthday gift? As we're celebrating um, the podiversary and it's like a little happy birthday, what is your what has been your favourite birthday gift? It could be from your childhood. It could be something you've received lately. It can be anything. So that's going to be the the prompt in the in the thread, and I'm going to leave that open for I'm going to leave that open for three weeks, um, and I will close it and draw the winner on the um, on the podcast here in three. I just wanted to show you all. I got them all back on the needle. Safely, without losing any. Yay, success.